Fists went flying between two men in front of a busy West Side Dion's, but it was who stepped in to try to break up that fight that has police thinking it may not have been the best idea. News 13's Marissa Lucero has that video. Last Wednesday, just before sundown, a fight broke out in front of the Dion's at the corner of Central and Coors. A handful of people surrounded the two men, and just as one of them gets knocked to the ground, can you call that? Can you call the cops? Someone yells at the people recording the fight on their cell phones to call police. It's a dangerous situation. Instead, the fight continues and creeps closer to the entrance of the restaurant. I can understand the concern there and what these guys did in the video, but these things, things can get really dangerous really quick. You can see three Dion's employees are in the middle of the squabble, trying to break it up. At one point, one of the employees has one of the men in a chokehold. I can understand how people want to get involved and stop these things from happening, but a random fight from fists can go to a knife and a gun real quick, and we don't want to see anybody get hurt. APD says a driver passing by is the one who finally called 911, along with a Dion's employee who flagged down an officer who was nearby. They say by the time the officer got there, the fight was over and almost everyone had split. So the best thing to do is be a good witness, call us immediately, say there's an active fight happening. That's a priority one call for us. We're going to run license sirens to get to that call. Marissa Lucero, KRQE News 13. Police say one of the men was taken to the hospital. Dion sent a statement tonight saying it was aware of the fight and that it was working to find out exactly what happened. They did not say whether any of their employees were disciplined.